He's got a really cool stables area out here that I like. Looks like he's only got one. Hey, where did you come from? Just give it a tour. Go away. Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard, and welcome back to the F-Team Squad server. Today I'm going to show you a couple of things, but then we're going to get up to some sneaky business. Alright, without further ado, let's get started! Alright guys, apparently during my intro there where I had the chat stuff turned off, we had somebody join the server, and apparently it's Blue, he changed his name to Name Unavailable. <laughs> I person formerly named Blue. There we go. <laughs> We're here in our little uh, greenhouse because, hey, lots of color. Awesome. So anyway, it was empty on the server. We're going to get up to some sneaky business still, which is fine. Even though there's one person on or a lot of people, it doesn't matter because we've got some to do later. But first, I want to show you what we've done out here. I added a little bit of stuff around the place just to kind of spruce things up and make them nicer. We added our cocoa bean farm back here on the opposite side of a fountain that I also added. And then we kind of added pathways to extend them around here on the side. Kind of bumps up against our little roadway here. And it goes all the way around. Stops kind of here for the platform. And then I've added it also on this side. Plus tree! And also tree, and tree, and tree. Yes, I added a bunch of trees. Can you tell? I don't know. I love trees. Putting them around your areas always just does something to tie it together and make it more interesting and fun. So all I do, like with the other ones, for simple trees like this, is just to plant a big one. Cut out the trunk and then rejigger it a little bit into some little different configurations that are a little more twisty and fun, just like I did with this tree. So, yeah, looking out here from our porch is really cool. Got all these trees. You can see the greenhouse up on the hill if you look. And hey, we got, I don't know, if I had a name tag, I'd name him maybe, but then he'll fall out and die. But we got a pig in a tree. I think he just spawned there because he was not there before. I don't know how that pig got up there, but yeah, good job at climbing that. <laughs> All right, first off, I'm going to run around a little bit and show you a couple of places on the server. And then we're going to get up to some funny business, which involves all these things in my inventory here. Some custom banners and some signs to just... You know, let everybody know who did it. We've got some dead bushes, flower pot, levers, brewing stands, and jack-o'-lanterns. So from all of that there, you might tell it's kind of Halloween-y themed. So we'll get to that later. But first, let's run, 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 and jump, and jump, and run over to our first place that I want to show you. One of the newer people on the server who came in at the beginning of October, if I remember correctly is somebody named Rob's Let's Plays. He does some videos on YouTube as well, and I will try and remember to put his channel in the description. But over here is the place he's been building. And for a while there, you couldn't tell that there was something over here because he just started and it was way off in the distance. But now that he's built this bridge, it's like, oh, hey, he's actually fairly close. So he's got this cool bridge and pathway over here. He's got this bunny rabbit banner, which ties into kind of his uh, thing. His uh, avatar is kind of a picture of his face with bunny ears on. I don't know. He might do other stuff with it. I don't know for sure. But yeah, here's this pretty big, cool house. It's mostly sort of a plus shape. Kind of a, got wings on every direction. So it looks like he's still planning on adding maybe some towers or something. He's got a portal there. I don't know why you need a portal, dude. Like, spawn is right over there. You d Come on. Walk. <laughs> He's got a really cool stables area out here that I like. Looks like he's only got one. Hey, where did you come from? Just give him a tour. Go away. <laughs> he's got one horse in there so far, but, you know, room for others. Looks pretty nice. I like the style of this place. Got plenty of detail with the stairs and slabs all everywhere. And a cool staircase with water. I like this. 
And it looks like up here is mostly kind of just different types of storage. So he's got overstock and armor, weapons, and just categorized his stuff in different places. Pretty cool. And then up here, I don't know what there is. I haven't been up here. I think it's just a balcony. Yeah. Maybe he's planning something else. I do not know. But yeah, this is a really neat house. I like how he just peppered all these different kinds of stone. Even the granite in here is, gives a nice little splash of color and stuff. Very cool pattern. Very nice place. Using wheat for decoration on the way in. Very cool, Rob. I like it a lot. So now, if you may remember... Goodness, what's with the baby zombies? Stop it! Okay. Two baby zombies and I get seven meat. What is up with that? Let's see, let's kill the regular zombie. You're gonna drop just one or something, aren't you? Okay, you dropped two. <laughs> How the baby zombies have more flesh than the others? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying. You may remember that this server is the patron server for Fultron. And that he was on this hill on the other side of spawn over here and he had not built a house yet. Well, that time is over. He has a house now. He had one design, apparently, that he was going to do that he scrapped. And now he's got a second design. And I don't know what the first one was going to be. It could have been pretty awesome. But this one is definitely awesome. It looks really cool. It's going to pop into view here in a minute. Do, 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 do. Hey. Yeah, seriously. We need some better lighting. So, right, we still got Atira's stuff that we showed before. But up here, if it pops in slowly, Fultron's house. There you go. He has an actual house up there. So let's go show it off. He was doing a about three days worth of building, I think, to put that out together with a few yeah. sessions. And one of them, he was streaming. And I left him a present while he was doing that. Let's see if it's still there. It is! I <laughs> put a bunch of rose bushes around his stairwell, which he just had kind of this bottom part of the house to start with when I put those up there. I think it's funny that he's kept them, because it's not like I tried to place them anywhere nicely. He was actually up there streaming, and I was trying to put a bunch of them down, so that when he came back down, he would see them and maybe hopefully get a funny reaction out of it. But he was just kind of like, oh, hey, rose bushes. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a non-reaction. But it was still kind of funny. So yeah, let's just run up in here really quick. It's a very small house on the inside, but it's got lots of detail. It's very, very cool. He needs to finish off the rest of it because he's still just done mostly the exterior. But yeah, if you want to see his episode, I yeah, I think his last FTM episode, yes, was definitely the build of this, where he put a time lapse together of the whole thing, ground up. It's pretty cool. So if you want to see a little bit more detail of how it was built, then you can go see that. Otherwise, we'll just give you a couple of views of it here from the ground, staring upwards at its majesty. <laughs> I think this is a cool shot, because you got his house here with the floating island other than the background. Pretty nice. There's so much cool stuff on this server, guys. Uh, right there, that building that I didn't know what it was last time is a butcher's shop. I think it's BJ's Beef or something is what they called it. So you go in there, he's got a uh, breeding machine for cows and then a cooking machine on the other side of the room. I'll quickly look at that and then we got at least time for our hijinks, guys. Our, I don't know, call it maybe a prank. I'm going to go to a bunch of places on the server and we're going to put some stuff down. So maybe we'll do the first one here on camera with you guys. And then I'll get around to show the other foot. <laughs> oh, I wish these worked. I don't know how they got pig skulls because they shouldn't be all pig skulls. Because as far as I know, Frodo Baggins was a uh, baby zombie, but uh, whatever. I'm sure one of the admins did something to get those skulls on there. Yeah, BJ's beef, all the meat forever! So if you go in here, you can. Breed some up on this side, and I'm guessing they get fed over to the stuff on here, which you can flash cook them. Okay, there's the button. I don't need any right now, so that's cool. You get fresh cooked steak and leather goes in here, so... A nice little setup. We've got all our cows over at our place, so I don't think I will necessarily need it. Plus, I mean, we've got fire on our sword, so we just get automatic cooked beef from that. It's more fun anyway. <laughs> oh, spawn so slow with the frame rate. All right, where should we go? I, you know what? I should have stayed at Voltrons because we're going to go do that first. We're going to show you what we're up to. And then 
Hopefully it'll work. I'm going to try and record all of it and show a little bit of the placing of these things everywhere. So we'll do the first one by his entrance. We need a pumpkin. We need one of these brewing stands. We're going to need a block to place the pumpkin. So let's just put one right here. Bam. I'm using the brewing stand because it looks kind of like feet. And hey, if it's three feet, it's pretty cool, right? So I'm thinking invasion of the pumpkin robot mons, uh, Martians or something. I'm going to figure out something to call them. And I'm going to leave it on the sign. I'm going to have my name on it so everybody knows where they came from. Let's see, I need flower pot and dead bush. Bam. That's all that. But then we also have to give these guys their cool little capes on the back. Pretty nice, right? I like it. I messed around with just orange and black doing some stuff to get a fun pattern so it wasn't just a plain old banner on the back. And I like how that turned out. I think it was using orange. It was a black banner that I put orange um, daisy on there, a daisy pattern, and then a diamond, if I remember right. And then we do a black daisy and then plus, I think, a cross shape to kind of knock out the pattern a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of the banner. But here's our little guys. We're going to populate the server with these, so it feels more October-y around here. There's not enough Halloween going on right now. I'm going to get off to doing that, and I'm going to try and record it all with the replay mod so I can get a few different camera angles of stuff, maybe. If it doesn't work out, well, at least I showed you this one, and maybe we'll go around and show a few things. Otherwise, it's hopefully just like, hey, guys, look at all these things on the server. I have enough to make a 64 of them, a stack of pumpkin invaders. So let's get doing all that hijink stuff.
Hope you guys enjoyed this silly episode where we have Invasion of the Pumpkin Bots. <laughs> I had thought that 64 of these guys, I saved a couple to put over here by my area so I could see them more. I thought it would be easier to spread them all around, but unfortunately it's not as many as you think. So I tried to hit kind of the major areas of the server that were community uh, areas, plus Fultron, of course. <laughs> So we've got them all everywhere. I don't think I'm, I've am i shown every single one in the little montage there. But maybe I did. I don't know. I haven't made it yet. So <laughs> after this clip, that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm just going to wander around to a couple of these places in case I didn't show them. I'm trying to make them a little bit different, kind of pointing to where you're going. So here's the bridge. <laughs> and I didn't put signs with all of them, but I tried to put the signs around to where if you found one and you looked around and saw more pumpkins around, pumpkin bots, <laughs> that you'd come over and find one that does have the invasion of polygons, pumpkin bots from Mars signed by it so they'd know what's going on. So, anywho, I'm hoping everybody else on the server enjoys discovering this. It was nice that only... Okay, he's not on right now. Had one other player on while I was doing this, but I think he was off exploring somewhere, so it didn't matter. People are going to log on and find these guys. And they're all just gathered around like, What's going on? It's invasion of pun polygons, pumpkin bots from Mars. Uh... Pumpkin bot from Mars. Let's replace this one. It's going to bug me if I don't. It doesn't make sense to only have the sign say one pumpkin bot when there's several about. So the spawn house, I put a bunch in the middle and try to put kind of one on each side of it. So that if you're just wandering through spawn, hey chicken, you would find them. <laughs> put a few in the cave. I put a few down in the uh, farms over here where the Excuse me, Skeleton Farm and Spider Farm are down in there. I put some by Atira's place and Fultron's place. I put a couple out here by the entrance to the farms. I put a bunch by the tree farm and the other community farms over there. So hopefully people, when they're wandering around the server, that's my favorite one. He's way up there. Oh yeah, I have Chidi Zoom on now. Yay, thank you, Optifine. I put one up in uh, Fultron's balcony window as well at his house, which I think will look funny from the outside. Just got this kind of pumpkin bot dictator up there on the balcony trying to direct his minions or something was my thought behind that one. It was pretty funny. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like. Subscribe. All that jazz. And I will see you in the next episode.